This is the first game which has got Queenie as a playable more. Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're in the amazing digital circus. And that's right, we are in a find the morph game. Which, as a bonus, we have some of the concept, or should I say abstracted creatures in this game, which I'm so excited to see how they look and what emotes they have. This reminds me very much of the Rainbow Friends morph games that we play, where you unlock those concept creatures and we can see what the job scare is. So today, we are joined with Sonic Doll and Baby Quackers. Check this out. Isn't he so adorable? I will answer that for you. Yes, he is! And what we need to do is to find all 20 of these morphs. So these ones here, as you can see, I have found none of them at the moment. So you can go through the video with me if you wish to know where to unlock them. But I did see there was one right at the beginning. Uh, so I'm just going to get this one first. And it says I've unlocked Kane. Nice and easy. So what I want to do is I'm going to go through and try and collect them before we have a look at each model because I think we could actually then go through and see what the emotes are one at a time and more importantly discover what these abstracted ones were meant to look like because I have no idea how they look because as you remember on the doors when they're walking down the corridor of hallway you will remember that they have the icons on the doors going past with crosses on them and yeah we've only got a 2d image to work with but today we actually have a 3d model so this one over here unlocks a zoo ball yep that's all good and then over here we've got ourselves Puggy clown? Wait, is this a clown dog? I don't remember seeing this one on the door, but hey, let's have a quick look at the footage. Hey, it could be this one that I thought was a sock puppet, but hey, that's pretty cool. As you can see, Quackers has become the clown dog or the puppy clown. I forgot what it's called already. So we've unlocked three. And as Quackers has said, it's a slam dunk. Yes, it is. But let's continue getting the rest. So we're obviously inside the circus at the moment. We've got ourselves Gangle looking pretty good. Where are the other ones? I can see there's one on top of there. But is there any others on the floor? Oh, I can see one's over there. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. So let's have a look at this one. It looks like a gloink one. Hey, we've unlocked the yellow circle gloink. And hey, we get a patch for unlocking these as well, which is pretty cool. So I can see Quackers is working his way up the spirally staircase. And yeah, I'm just going to follow because I have a feeling he might know where some of them are, which I haven't got access to just yet. So work my way upstairs uh, across to here. Is there any up here? Has he taken me on a goose chase to nothing? I think he... Oh, no, he hasn't. There is actually one up here. Quackers is being helpful. So what have we got? Wait, I know this one. The lazy dog. Yes, this is definitely one that was on the door. And hey, check that out. We got Quackers as the lazy dog who is spamming the emote button, which is causing him to wave. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Now, actually, as we've unlocked that, I've noticed the stairs go up a bit higher. I feel like there might be some more at the top floor. Now, oh no, I just jumped off. What I was going to say is as we're going up here, there is two other areas to check out. And hey, check this out. There's two to collect. So just here, we have unlocked Queenie, which we know it's Queenie. It's not Queena. That has been proven. Queenie is saying, you found me. And I've got another, wait, what the? I'm so confused. That's two Queenies. We've now got Queenie and Kinga together. They are reunited. I'm so happy. This is something I thought we'd find later on. But no, check that out. That is so awesome. Now, we've got one more up here, which I think is going to be Queenie. Oh, I was wrong. It's Bubble. Oh, my favorite AI creature. As you can see, Quackers has become Bubble. And it looks like the emote is to wiggle and then pounce. Actually, it reminds me of something. Very similar to a cat. And so if we head down the stairs, I think there's a shortcut if we just ease ourselves off. We can then continue to find the rest of them because I think we're doing pretty well so far with collecting these uh, at the moment. So just this one here. Here we got Jax. We know what Jax looks like. I assume his emote's going to be something a bit crazy. Although, why is Quackers saying, help? What's up? I got stuck. Oh, well, it looks like you're fine now, so you don't need no help. So I feel like we've got all the ones in this room, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. We've probably missed it, but that's okay. We'll come back. What I want to do next is to head through the room, which is just... Oh, there's another gloink hiding away over here. So sneaky. Okay, so let's just uh, collect this one, and we've got ourselves... The actual Gloink Queen? What the real deal? This thing's gonna be like massive. A Gloink Queen. He says, yay, one more. 
Whoa, what just happened there? I feel like he just didn't disappear. But that's okay. If we head through this door, this takes us to the outside. So I can see at this point in time, it's pretty basic. But at least it means it's easy to find all of these different morphs. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Is that Quackers as a Gloit Queen? Oh, I feel like I need to go boop it snoop. But whoa, what the hell offensive? It just sent me flying. Okay, well, guys, make sure you stay away from the Gloit Queen. Otherwise, you're going to get sent to space. Don't get near me. This is so bad. I need to stay away from the Gloit Queen and collect the rest of these. And we've got ourselves a Gloit Star. Okay, so... These all have emotes. This is one thing I've noticed. So once we get to the bottom of this, I want to do a quick run through of what these all are. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry, what? There's a hairy worm? A hairy worm? What even is that? Actually, I think this is the one that we've seen on the door. I'm pretty sure that is the one that's on the door. And it has been abstracted. I think I called it a Wrigley worm. Like the toys you can find like on Amazon, for example. So I can see Quackers is currently the hairy worm. And he's doing the emote which kind of coils him up. It makes him look like he's really sad. That actually makes me feel a bit sad and a bit teary to the eye. Well, ah, no, no, not a glowing queen. Okay, abort, abort. We need to get away as soon as possible. So we've checked outside. I'm pretty sure we got everything there. But what we need to do next is head to the hallway, which I think you can get to by climbing up the stairs. But I'll just take the easy way. So I can see we've got what looks like Kofmo room. So let me just open this one up. And obviously it is Kofmo. This is pretty cool. Well, oh, there's one hidden in the corner which looks to be Ragatha. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Is there any more hidden in here? Wait, hang on. Kofmo's saying, hey, uh, what's up, Kofmo? Get out of my room. What? Why is he so angry? I mean, he can share his room, right? It's big enough for the both of us. Bruh. You know what, Kofmo? If you want me to leave your room, tell me a joke on the stage. He says, all right. Wait, Quackers has done one. Your mum. That's so rude. But actually, I quite like that. That's funny. He's laughing at his own joke. Ah, crackers. Don't ever change. Oh, hang on a sec. Kofmo says kick him out. Wait, what the? Has he just literally booted him out of the stage? Out of his room? Why is Kofmo so angry? Oh, wait, hang on. He says, anyways, I think we're about to get the joke from Kofmo. What's a skeleton's favorite instrument? I have no idea, Kofmo. What is a skeleton? Uh, trombone? Oh, dear. I don't know. You know what? It's funny. I will leave his room just as he asks. So, yeah, that's fine. That's good. Which leads us to what looks like another gloink collection here. Yeah, we've got a Gloink Cube. Very nice, very nice. And at the end of the corridor, we've got Pomni herself. So let's have a quick look on the morphs. What are we missing? So heading down, I can see we're missing what are... Uh, oh, we're missing three. So we're missing Kinga, a purple Gloink, and whatever this one is here. I feel like we might miss some in the circus. So I'm going to very quickly have a look around... And then when I find it, I will let you know where to go. Oh, I found it. Thanks to Quack as he says, head up the stairs. And I can see there's a Gloink over here. And in front of the distance, there's another one over there. Look at that. If you squint hard enough or if I zoom in for you, you can see the one I mean. So over here, this is going to be a Gloink, which is going to be the Gloink Cylinder. So we've now got the whole Gloink family. Uh, I mean, at this point in time, right? We've got the whole Gloink family. But if I head round this massive U piece at the top of the circus, we should eventually find ourselves... Wait, hang on. Is that... That's the glowing cylinder. Wait, wait, wait. What's the emote do, Quackers? Ow, it spins like a helicopter helicopter. Oh, amazing, amazing. So we're going to keep on heading round. And there's a... I'm just checking out little areas like this because I can see them being really sneaky and putting one of them in there. Now let's just open this... And we've unlocked Kinga, which means the last one we need is, I believe, the pocket. I don't even know what it is. The, the puppet. I think it's the puppet. So I'm going to work with Quackers and Sonic Doll to try and find the last one we need. So you guys know where it is. And also, if you want to roleplay as it, you can do so. Uh, I'm going to head... I think to another room and catch you guys shortly. So Quackers is basically saying he's found it. He's managed to find the last one we need, which is this puppet looking thing. And he seems to be heading over towards what looks like Gangle's room. So put your back on, become queen. I see, I see. So what we're going to do to attempt this is literally go against the door, put our back to it. And while it's right against the back, we need to head in here and then select the Gloink Queen, which then should... Oh, no, not again. So let's do this, do that, and boop. 
Ah, yes, finally, we made it through. Quickly go back to my normal self, so don't lose it. And hey, here we go. So I had some hints here saying you have to jump while doing it. Now we've made it into a room which you had to glitch your way through. I mean, I don't think that's on purpose, but unfortunately, it seems to be that way. We have got the final one here to collect, which is the bunny doll. This is the one which, as you can see here, is what I thought was like some kind of puppet thing, but it looks like it's just a little doll, which is pretty cool. I can see that Quackers has become the doll and the emote is it jumping. Hey, check that out. We got two of them. This room's pretty cool. I think it's the most decorated of the rooms that we've seen so far, because obviously we have this one and we've got Kofmo's room. That does mean we've now unlocked them all. So let's head back to the main circus and very quickly check out the concepts ones and moats. So let's just head to here. Let's start with what we've got as this wriggly worm or the hairy worm. And let's have a look at the emote. Although, why am I sliding? Why do I slide? Oh, there's no sounds or anything, but that's still pretty awesome. Look at that. It just makes me look a bit sad. Okay, that's pretty cool. Next on the list, we have got ourselves Queenie. This is the first game which has got Queenie as a playable morph. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, that's so nice. And look, we've got King next to us as well. He's actually a fair bit taller. I didn't realize that was the case. But yes, as Crackers put, she does a bow. So there you go. That's fair. It's a true point. He does a little wave and then does a bow. So following up next to that, we have got the dog or the lazy dog. And I mean, check this out. I wish this was actually in the pilot episode because this looks like a really cool character. And I mean, based off the image we see on the door, this is actually pretty cool. And as you can see, it just waves happily. Oh, I like this. This is pretty awesome. But next on the list, who have we got? We've got this dog clown. Or I forgot what it's called. Is it like puppy clown or something? Now this one, I can see from what's happening with Quacker. Oh, hang on. Who's this? I can see from these two people that it just does backflips. I mean, that's not bad. I'm not mad. That's actually pretty cool. Just sits there doing backflips for days. Ah, oh, nice. And next up, we've got ourselves the one we just unlocked, which is the doll puppet puppet doll. I forgot what it's called already, but it's so adorable. So we got this one, which we've just unlocked, which looks like some kind of handheld puppet. But I think it is called Rabbit Doll. I'm pretty sure that's what Quackers are saying. Yes, it is. Bunny Doll, even. It's a bunny doll, which makes sense when you look at the ears and the cute little face. This one's actually pretty cool. Now, the emote, is it just jumping a bit like a pogo stick? Actually, that's pretty cool. I like that. That is all of the concept characters that we have. And yes, these are all found on the doors from the pilot video. And someone has actually developed and made the morphs for these characters, which is really awesome. Let me know in the comments below which one your favorite is. And I hope this video helps you unlock them. But so until next time, I hope you found this useful. If you liked it, remember to hit the like button. Subscribe if you've done so many. It's super appreciated. And we will catch you in the next video. Remember to boop the snoo.